my beloved brothers and sisters when the masajid the restrictions are lifted and their doors are flung open to the general public as it should be remember don't drive past the masjid knowing that it is the time of salah and this is the house of allah allah only invites to his houses those whom he knows are close to him and why i say this is because there is a clear cut hadith that talks about the vips on the day of judgment and i've mentioned this many times where the prophet sallallahu clearly says rajulun qalbuhu muallaqun bil masajid a person whose heart is connected to the houses of allah to the places of prostration subhanallah that person will have a special shade on the day of reckoning when there will be no shade but the shade given by Allah. Let your heart be connected to the masjid in such a way that even if there are restrictions, the pain that is felt in your heart depicts the connection that you have with the houses of Allah. And the fact that you're prostrating even though you might be at home is something amazing. It is a sign of closeness to Allah. Allah says, <laughs> Make sure that you have taken your houses as the direction of prayer towards Allah and make sure that you fulfill your prayer according to the instruction of Allah. And Allah says, if you want the goodness, make sure that even your homes are considered places of worship, places of prayer. How many of us have a lot of dirty things at home? Take them out. When you do something bad, the bricks and the walls and the floors and the roofs and the ceilings, all of that bears witness. It is watching like a CCTV, subhanallah. And it will bear witness against you or for you. You need to seek forgiveness in order to wipe it out. It will all be gone and you make peace with Allah. When you make peace with Allah and everything is wiped out, you will achieve peace at home. Some people say, I have no peace at home. Well, my brother, my sister, is something wrong happening at home? Are you worshipping Allah at home? Do you call the call to prayer and pray when it comes to your salawat? Do you call the adhan five times a day and fulfill your prayer? Is your house filled with Quran and tilawa and dhikr and ibadah and good uh, character and beautiful teachings for your children and so on? Or is it filled with swear words? Is it filled with hostile behavior? Is it filled with that which is displeasing to Allah? If that's the case, how do you expect that house to be filled with nur and with peace? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness and may Allah open our doors. My beloved brothers and sisters, Let's cry to Allah for forgiveness so that Allah be pleased with us. May Allah accept that dua from us. Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallama wa baraka ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.